Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Tony here, Tony's LPs RS, and as you can see, I'm ready for today's total solar eclipse, 4-8-2024. We're not going to see another one like this in the Americas for another 20 years or so, so I may not live to see that one. So I want to take full advantage of this one today, and I've got my special cereal box that's that's been adapted to watch the eclipse in safety. Also have my special lenses on today. And I'm sure a lot of you already have your glasses. I know the glasses are completely sold out. And just be careful, make sure that the glasses are certified. If you have any little children, small young children that are watching this eclipse with glasses on, please make sure that they're wearing them the entire time. Uh, I know it's safe to take them off once the Moon has eclipsed the sun with the total eclipse. You see the corona around the sun. Uh, but today I have a little segment that I thought about the other day, and I didn't get around to doing it because I wanted to get my box ready. And this box is um, pretty easy to do. There's instructions on various uh, YouTube sites. So you can see it right there. You actually look through this whole you uh, put this behind you, and you, as you look through it like this, you could. the sun comes through a little pinhole, which is here, and reflects on a white screen that's inside the box, which you can't see right there. So that's my homemade little gizmo. But if you were lucky enough to get glasses, that's going to be cool too. So, And I just want to thank everyone once again for coming um for dropping into the channel rather and subscribing and liking and all this other stuff really appreciate it. if you haven't subscribed please do so um i've done a number of shorts that i did today on my uh, video channel uh three in particular two with pink floyd songs and one with the police invisible sun i've used various uh graphics and uh some fun stuff we also have these today to uh, enjoy and you can see these are moon pies solar eclipse survival kit and i want to thank my friend janet uh who gave me these a couple days ago we went out to see a play we saw a great play um arsenic and lace and we had dinner with a bunch of friends and uh janet was nice enough to hand these out and uh, we all got to enjoy these and these are what they actually look like the little moon pies you need a lot of milk with these. These are these are dry, but you need a lot of milk. And these are valuable collector's items right now. So there you go. And I'm going to show you some records, just a few from my collection that I thought of off the top of my head that I think would be fun to do. And you all know they're going to culminate to a Pink Floyd album. So we're going to go from beginning to the end. And I hope you enjoy this segment. And like I said, really... A, Really appreciate the subscriptions. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. Now, this path is going from this path of solar eclipse. It's, a, a I believe, a 200 or 400 wide shadow, they call it. And it's from the Gulf of Mexico all the way into upstate into Maine across the America. So we're lucky here in New Jersey. We're in a pretty good spot to view it, maybe 95%, 90%. A lot of my friends, a lot of my Star Trek friends out there, a lot of my more, uh, should I say, more in tune with the uh, with the stars. Those guys have been are going to Vermont. They're going to upstate New York, where the path is is a is a better photo op for those people to look at these. And I hope they have good weather, uh, because if there's any clouds, you're not going to get. Once again, here's the. Uh, my little gizmo, you could, like I said, you could find instructions for these on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So the first album up is Frank Sinatra. This is a great album. This is an OG. This is called After All These Years, Francis Albert Sinatra mm -hmm. Conjoins with Edward Kennedy Ellington. And on here we have a couple of tracks. Is uh, First one is Sonny. The classic Sonny, their rendition, Sinatra's rendition with Duke's great. And on here we also have I Like the Sunshine. So there's actually two records on here that I'm going to listen to either during 
uh, or post and prior to the eclipse. That's the first one. Second one is a classic, uh, Jonathan Edwards, and that's Sunshine. Sunshine Go Away Today, if you all remember that song. Jonathan Edwards. This is a classic album. A uh, really good sounding record. Here it is on the pink Capricorn label. And uh, some of you out there might know this song. You probably, it sounds so much like Donovan. I actually thought it was Donovan. So I was looking through my Donovan. Donovan has some Sunshine records I didn't pick, like Sunshine Superman and things like that. But when I when I didn't find it in Donovan, I looked it up, and it's uh, Jonathan Edwards. So uh, there's the inner. So it's not Donovan. Sunshine. It's simply called Sunshine, but everyone knows it as Sunshine Go Away Today. Uh, that's that right there. That's number two. Number three is, of course, Elton John, Caribou. Great record at Caribou Studios in Colorado which are now defunct. We went to Colorado a few years ago and a, uh, on a tour of the uh, Wild West type of thing. Wild tour we went through, uh, you know, indigenous uh, American Indian territories. We actually had, uh, we actually ate with the uh, indigenous people, the American Indians there. And um, I was looking to go to Caribbean Studios because we were going through Colorado, but the studio is no longer there. So I missed that, but that would have been cool. But this has, don't let the sun go down on me. Great record. Don't let the sun go down on me. Elton John. Next up is Joe Jackson, Night and Day. Because we're going to go from night, from day to night and back to night to day in a matter of, in a, in a matter of four minutes. This total solar eclipse is going to last approximately four and a half minutes in most cases, it starts around 1, 1 p.m. in uh, the Americas from Mexico. It's going to cross over. If you look at my shorts, I actually have graphics that chart the entire uh, path of the eclipse, of the, how when the when the moon is is in line to totally cut out the eclipse, the solar eclipse. Next one is is a classic. Moonlight Sinatra, because we're getting closer to the moon now. Moonlight Sinatra, the second Sinatra album on this list. This has this is a concept album, and you can see the titles there. All moon songs. This is incredible. I have a mono of this. This is a stereo still in the shrink. This has Moon Moonlight Becomes You, Moon Song, Oh You Crazy Moon, The Moon Got in My Eyes, The Moon Was Yellow, Reaching for the Moon, and The Moon Moon. So you get the idea. And I'll just show you, uh, that's the inner. And there you have a tricolor reprise, Moonlight Sinatra. There's so many songs about sun and the moon. You got Dean Martin, um, Moon, you know, Luna, which is moon in, in uh, Italian or Latin. So there's so many great ones. I just picked out a few that I thought were fun. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Now we're going to get into like the uh, psychedelia, the the progressive stuff that we all know, all us all us guys in, in my age bracket know. And here, of course, we have an original. This is a UK pressing of Uma Guma, double record. And you can see there it has a Gigi in there. The reissues have Gigi. The originals had Gigi. The subsequent reprints, the Gigi album was removed because obviously Pink Floyd never got the rights to it. Uh, and it's actually there in the mirror image. And this has set the controls for the heart of the sun. Um, great, great record. So um, cosmic, so ahead of its time. So I actually did a short and I used that music via the YouTube uh, shorts. And I uh, was really happy to find this record. I had a few copies of reissues that I bought. And I was able to find uh, this copy. And it was a British import, a UK import of uh, on Harvest. So right there you have that. And we're getting close to the end here. We have another one, which is 
coincides with set the controls for the heart of the sun. This is a, a special uh, one-sided 12-inch single from 1966, 14 minutes, 57 seconds of interstellar overdrive by the Pink Floyd. Interstellar overdrive. This is a great record. This has a poster in it. I got this at a defunct record store called uh, Double Decker, which was in Pennsylvania. I bought this uh, maybe four years ago or so. And uh, there's the record there. 45 RPM, I believe. There's, oh, no, 33 third RPM. And it has a poster. It's really interstellar overdrive. So listen to that today or tomorrow after this whole event. This is an event. It says that the U.S. economy is going to grow by billions uh, today. Uh, restaurants are packed. Restaurants have over over uh, supplied themselves for anticipation. Uh, hotel rooms have quadrupled. Airfare has doubled. Uh, car rentals have doubled. Um, you know, any type of rental property, uh, they're getting a the maximum money for this. And people are coming from all over the world because this is only an American phenomenon. Here we have another classic, which I did a short on. And this has the one track that I played. Invisible Sun, the police, Invisible Sun. And that's what's going to happen today to our sun. And we're going to culminate this uh, incredible video. I hope you're enjoying it. This incredible video with the Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon reissue of a few years ago. This is highly recommended uh, compared to an original, which would probably cost almost $1,000 today. Uh, most... Audio files agree that this record is very close to that in, in its sound. And, of course, on this record, you have Eclipse. And that's where we're ending it, on the Eclipse. So I'm going to put my glasses back on. I've got my gear here. I've got my pies. Thank you again, Janet. Got my pies. And our, this starts at about 1 o'clock today. I'm going to publish this right away. Just in time for it, it's now uh, 12 o'clock. So I'm going to publish this. We're going to get this out. And uh, like I said, the path is Gulf of Mexico all the way across the United States, eastern United States, Maine, Vermont, maybe goes into Canada. So there you have it. And um, Dark Side of the Moon right there. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this fun video, just a little fun. Please stay safe when you're watching this. I hope you can watch it. Of course, it's going to be on television. I'll probably do a quick short later when I get some videos off uh, off of the online videos and do a little uh, short on that to show you people the eclipse. And uh, that's it. So uh, Elvis is happy about it. Elvis has seen them all. Elvis has been around for a long time. And like I said, we, we won't see another one of a total solar eclipse. Uh, they had uh, the scientists have said for another 20 years or so. It's amazing. It's an amazing phenomenon. And again, if you get to, get a chance, uh, my three shorts, which are 60 minute YouTube shorts, actually show the trace. It shows some history, shows some maps that were done uh, a thousand years ago that were actually um, very accurate and. That's it. So keep rocking, and I hope you enjoy the segment. Uh, we're signing out, and like I said, stay safe, be careful, and don't forget to get your moon pies. Talk to you later. Ciao. Trying to shut this off here, and see you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.